everybody, welcome to Monster Hustle. Yeah, that's right, uh, Janet and James here with you and we're gonna do a little bit of a, a Monster A haul and the A stands for awesome. awesome. Yeah, we went to uh, the Berea Flea Market this morning and um, uh, did some treasure hunting, found some cool stuff. So uh, without any further ado, do let's get on with it, Janet, please. Okay, well I picked up this retro Halloween mask and it looks like a vampire guy. And uh, he looks kind of freaky. He caught my eye. I paid eight bucks, and I think I paid too much. Um, some monster masks I've sold for like fifty bucks, a hundred bucks. This one, um, the brand is Caesar. Mm -hmm. It has some markings on the bottom of his chin. And uh, you were telling me they don't really go for a whole heck of a lot. Well, I looked it up last week. I saw it too, and I just kind of passed on it because he wanted eight for it. And you know how the business is. If you want to sell it for more, you get the, the, the cheaper the better, and that's the asking price. And I just when I looked up the stuff, it was like maybe fifteen to twenty. And I and I didn't look him up, and and you, we were at the time both looking at different things. Look, I could so. be totally wrong. <laughs> Who knows what that thing is? You know, it's a but vampire. I mean, it's kind of neat. So I don't know. I'll have to do some research myself and see. And then I picked up a, a Creature from the Black Lagoon puzzle. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Universal Monsters, it's sealed. I think nice. it's from the 80s or 90s. Early 90s, I don't know, you but might be right. I paid five for it, and I thought this would be good to take to um, like Cinema Wasteland or one of those shows that we've been at. 1982. Oh, 1982. Even, even better, yeah. Even better. Very cool Creature of the Black Lagoon stuff. So yes. And um, I found a lot of creepy baby dolls today. Let's get with the baby doll. The baby so doll. this one... And her arms look like they were cooked. They look like they were sunburned. Mm. But look at that face. Ooh. She makes noise too. She's a she makes she she makes noise. Yeah, I heard. Her, I didn't see I any markings. Her, no, on I heard her. her crying. Oh, she's a mama doll. The crier dolls. I don't know how you make it through that. It was, but it was. And then she has sleep eyes, and it looks like her mouth is open with those little buck teeth. Yep. So she could be, uh, maybe 1940s. Her. Um, what material would that be? It's not composition. I don't know if it's composition. Some kind of just plastic. I don't know. Celluloid. But, but her um, her arms are like rubbery, and then they're all discolored. But celluloid. Same with her legs. Yeah, they're like a vinyl. Yeah, kind of and it's then like her rubber. body's all. Excuse me, I had the burrito for lunch. That's how she makes noise. Yeah, you just. So I guess that's her burping. When you burp her, you got to get her. I probably have to <laughs> lean her back and then. And do it the other way. It's disturbing. <laughs> She's tooting. <laughs> so I, I paid a dollar for her, and um, Tanya Tootie. She, she's she's cool and creepy, and mm. um, yeah, I think I could get her a new home. Yeah, pretty neat. What about this other one you found over here? Um, this other one. Is that, is that one you want to save for later? Or? I'll save that one for later. All right. I'll save right, that let me, one. Let me later. show some. Stuff. Why don't you show something? All right, let's get some stuff out of here. This is all your stuff here. Uh, See, so he, he found a whole box of little toys. Well, the, the, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, why don't you show those? My favorite thing to or find. Or do you want to save that for your live video? Fleet. No, 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 no. No, we'll do, no, no. Um, this is pretty cool. It's a, a little box that looks like some sort of knockoff Transformer toys. They're not exactly the the Hasbro ones, but uh, that's what makes them interesting. I mean, there's a really weird. That almost looks like a Japanese logo back there, doesn't it? Like a little bear head. It says L H, and it has a oh. teddy bear head. This is, of course, so, the thing for this is nothing. I don't know who made this, but yeah, it looks like a transformer. But there's all these parts and pieces of robot, and I, you know, I just thought it was kind of neat. Um, there's a Voltron lion in here, a green lion. Everyone knows what that is mm -hmm. out there. Here's another part of that racing car. So I'm going to have to kind of like, maybe look these guys up, fix them up, and see what they might Ooh, be. Flies. Stuff like this sometimes is interesting. But um, what's that say? That says Hasbro. That's a um, one of those. This is 2000 Hasbro, 2000 Takara. Yeah. And it's some type of transformer guy. There's another weird one, a truck, and it says Made in Macau. What's this that say there? Made in Macau, MC Toy. MC Toy, yeah. So that's some, some type kind of... of so check out this robot. Robot this is, thing. <clears throat> so check him out, though. This is a robot, right? But on the back, he's a pinball machine. It's really weird. Yeah, space that is. Wars. It says Space Wars. It's just kind of different. This kind of stuff is what catches my eye. 
when I go out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I picked it up. I got this and a, uh, from the same vendor. Oh, uh, that thing. A beat up Hamburglar doll. A creepy Hamburglar. Cloth Hamburglar. Robble, 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 robble. Mm -hmm. Remember him? That's gone on the back. It lets you know his name. It's just when he's running away, the cape flies up. He can be identified very quickly. It's probably 70s, right? Yeah, McDonald's Hamburglar. Um, like by the, the, the art is like really. Yeah, you burst my bubble. That news on him. You burst my <laughs> bubble and said it would that you one sold for a dollar at auction, but that's because they had it at auction for yeah, a dollar. Yeah, one did sell for a dollar. Right now there is one active listing of this guy for fifty five, but mm. I didn't see any other solds on him. Yeah, well. So I don't know. Well, I got them both for ten, so this whole thing. So maybe we'll do okay with that. I don't know. I mean maybe you could sell him for ten and get your money back. Other cool stuff. Yeah, so this is the first thing I picked up was a Jack and Sally doll. They were like four bucks for both. Um, guy wanted five. I gave him four for it. Got him down to four. He's a bendy. She is not. I don't know if they're Those the same. Those are probably from when the movie first came out. Those really? look older. Yeah. What's the date on there? Probably so? 92. Didn't that come out in 92 or 93? Mm. And it's, yeah, 1993 Walt Disney. Very so good. So it is, toys. It is, she knows her toys. They're early yeah. toys. I mean, it's hard <laughs> to tell without the box. Right. I'll clean, I look it up, do the research. I mean, worst case scenario, it could be like a Hot Topic remake or Pretty something, neat. a reissue. Yeah. Because Hot Topic used to sell a lot of those. And uh, this thing, <laughs> this guy had a bunch of stuff, and it's a squeaky little smushy bear, right? It's by Rempel, who also makes that the, the froggy, uh, froggy the, the gremlin. gremlin toys, squeaky toys from the 40s. This is probably just about as old. Now, he's all smushed up and everything, but... Uh, he might be pretty good if I can get a, a I could probably unloosen some of this with a, with a heat gun mm -hmm. and kind of loosen up his face, pull it out a little bit. To melt him just enough to kind of... Yeah, but this squeaker works still. Put the plastic back for yeah, the rubber. Yeah, uh, I know, I know it looks ugly now, but I'll do a before and after video so you can maybe see if I it was successful or, or not trying to restore this guy or bring him back to life a little bit. But uh, he's still soft. His body's still soft. The head's a little hard. See, and I, I saw that at that same vendor table, table yeah. but... I knew, I knew Froggy the Gremlin sells. People look for those, but I didn't know people cared about the other Rempel squeaky toys. Oh, yeah, anything that stuff's kind of collectible. So I guess that one's pretty decent. Anything too. Rempel or vintage yeah. squeak toy. But if I can get him going, he might he might be pretty good. And I'll have to update you on what that might be. But I only paid a buck for him, so it's definitely worth the worth the shot. So A dollar gamble, right? Yep. Threw that dollar on the table. All right, what else you got? Um, I found shoes for a buck, and they look like new. They're a size 10, and they're made by a company called Torrid, and they specialize in, like, ladies plus size clothing. That's the uh, Hot Topic uh, um, sister store, right? Yeah, they used to be part of Hot Topic, and then they started their own store. And I don't know if they're still with Hot Topic, but mm. um, I paid a buck for these, and I, I thought I could just put them online for, oh. like, 10 or 15 bucks. That's a good, I didn't know you paid that much. That's pretty good. Yeah, ladies always or shop little. for shoes and bags, so, and... I don't know. I always I always look for cheap shoes like a flip. That's definitely your wheelhouse. Okay. And this thing I got for 50 cents. 50 cents. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it or flip it. It's um, a vintage sewing accessory like box and it's that funky avocado-ish green color. That's more of a lime. Or a right? lime? A little brighter. Avocado's a little Maybe darker. Maybe it's, yeah, it's probably a little bit bright. Well, like, it could be avocado. But it what says, do I know? um... Will hold Sunbury PA and then this opens up. It's more like a chartreuse. But it, it, it's in really good condition. Like the plastic isn't cracked or broken. That looks new. Yeah, it looks like they never used it. Yeah, it looks nice. Like it was stored somewhere for a while. You know, look how clear, look how nice the plastic hinges yeah, are. Yeah, so wow. that's, um, that's if, I don't, if I don't use it, I'll put it online. This was only 50 cents. Probably early 70s, right? And some of the vintage sewing stuff, some of the ladies buy. So the crafters, they buy that stuff online. Mm hmm. It's in such good condition, yeah. Mm hmm. I feel like you're going back in time. Another another weird doll. It yeah, was this is a good one too. Though. It was weird doll day, but this is a good one. I'm gonna clean her up, fix her hair. She's a my twin doll, mm -hmm. kind of like those American Girl dolls that are like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, brand new. Um, hmm. I paid a dollar for her, and I'm thinking, even in used condition, I could probably put her online for 40 bucks. And what's the My Twin stuff about? That girls so, will send in a description I, of themselves or a picture? I think it's discontinued now, yeah. but in the past, what it was is, okay, let's say you have a daughter or you're a little kid and your parents get you a doll. Um, they could get a doll to look like you. You can pick the eye color, you could pick the hair color, 
And then you can even buy outfits to match your doll. So the little girl would have a matching outfit and the doll would have the same outfit. Hence the name, my yeah. twin. And it was and it was cute. It was just something kind of cute, but overpriced, like kind of yeah. kind of pricey. Mm. She got some schmutz there. Yeah, this dress. She's a and, cleaned up. Yeah, she needs cleaned up. But this is a my but you twin doll, yeah. and people still collect them and look for them. Yeah. And yeah, I think the company. <laughs> I don't know if they're around anymore. Still staying there. Yeah, I bought uh, I bought one of those at a without without any clothing on it. Uh, just this was a bare doll at um, at a uh, at, our, at the honey hole that we go to. We call the honey hole. Oh, the birds are out. And uh, I, I saw a cardinal I over there. It for a couple. I saw it too. It was pretty. Um, but I, I think I saw. I bought it for like maybe five bucks and sold it for like forty. So they do. They, they're good. Mm-hmm. And then more. So quick too. More shoes. More shoes. Sold These, about a week. A buck each. Stuff I can put online for ten bucks. I know that sounds, but it, it does add up. And people do look for like, um, these are like leather Keds shoes. They're like just little white tennis shoes. Yeah, I would say the trick with selling things uh, in, in the resale business is um, from what, what I've observed so far is that it doesn't matter if it's like a $10 return, just as long as it sells fast. You don't want to sit a year on something for 10 bucks. Right, I mean, you ideally you would like stuff to sell fast. Sometimes right. it doesn't. So, and I think shoes do tend to sell fast, so. Uh, not all of them. But um, those this, are cool. These are Converse. They're glittery. I paid a buck for these. They're a ladies size 10, which is good because I noticed the big foot sizes um, seem to sell the fastest. Mm -hmm. So you big footed people, thank ladies. you. The big footed ladies. <laughs> so yeah, I got all those. All the big foot ladies. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. All right. What do you want to show off? Oh my off? gosh. What else did I find? Oh my lord. Um, Really not a, a, We've been out in the sun all day, so we're a little. Oh, <laughs> want to show your honey? Uh -oh. Hey, honey, want to show your honey? Hey, honey, I'm gonna show my honey. So your I did. I did buy um, raw honey from a beekeeper in North Royalton. Ten bucks for this big jar of honey, and that'll last forever. And um, let's see, the name is. So they have a company name, Golden Gypsy Honey. Golden Gypsy Honey. Mm. So, it looks, it's delicious. We tried some. They were giving out samples. Mm -hmm. Very and, good. Uh, very good. Yeah. So I look forward to having that and some tea. So bought something for me there. And oatmeal and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Yeah. Um, a couple of silly little things here. I got. Uh, well, the guy that you bought some of those dolls from. He goes. I. I, I say. I was looking at these. Uh, I was they're, checking they're like them out. what illustrations? They're. They're. Well, they're calendar toppers like from vintage you know antique calendars and they're all religious themed they're really neat artwork you know uh there's mary and the baby another one it's like some multiples of mary and the baby but he said uh he basically gave them to me he goes i was going to sell these for a dollar but you can have them wow like, okay you know, sure. You Some know. people do that if they just want to get rid of stuff. Yeah, I think the guy has probably a, one of those guys that have so much stuff. He didn't want to just, he just didn't want to pack it up. And maybe it's sat forever. So, yeah, I'll just lot them up and sell them. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to even ask a ton for it. We'll I don't see. even know what those would go for. Who knows? But I think the artwork's pretty. Some stuff you could frame. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> some other weird things that caught my eye were uh, these little uh, scholastic books. Um, this one was a uh, Defenders of Earth. It's like a team of like Flash Gordon, the Phantom. Uh, what's that magician's name? Who's this dude? I don't know. There's I don't know those guys. People. I don't even realize who they are. Let's see. Uh, That's uh, those are DC heroes, right? No, they're not even. No, no, they're not even. No. Nope. No, who, um, who are these guys? Flash Gordon. There's oh, Flash Gordon is in DC. Dude, no, no, no. It's Flash Gordon, the Phantom. I don't know who the other two dudes are. Oh, the magician. I'm trying to think of his name. Um, more. Uh, so Flash Gordon was originally like an old radio program, right? Mandrake the magician. Who, Lothar. I don't know who Lothar is. Lo Lothar. Lothar. Well, it's L O T H A R. Yeah, Lothar. Lothar. Yeah, O can't well, be pronounced O at well, all. Well, loathe wouldn't it have an A like I loathe you or something. Anyway, I'm sorry. Whereas potato has no A in it. Oh. Potato. Oh. Law. Lothar. We're going to have to take you back to English class. And then, um... I guess I need more hooked on phonics. <laughs> and then, uh, here's, a. Uh, well, how would you pronounce robot? There's no A in that. It's ro. Ro. Okay. Well, in the past, they would call it Robit. There's old videos of people saying Robit. And then anyway. another book is called, it's obviously a, 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 a knockoff of Transformers back in the day when that was something, 1985. 
It's Robot Changer. Ooh, Robot Changer. That can't Robot look. Changer. Like Transformer. Not Transformers or anything. No. Look at this guy. He's a changer. I don't know what this is, but I, I fall in love with this kind of stuff because I, I can know it right away. <laughs> there's one of them changing right there. Not transforming, but changing. You see there's a difference. Okay. <laughs> so these are like 50 cents a piece. Why not, right? This could be interesting if nothing else to check out. Oh, and a couple other cool things. Oh, and some books. Stuff for me. But you know, wait, there's more. You bought Honey. I bought comic books. So I found a, not, a Marvel uh, comedy mag uh, comic from uh, the late 60s called Not Brand Ech. This one's good because it's got like a, uh, like, sort of like not brand X. I think eh was what they're trying to say. But um, yeah, there's a Frankenstein thing there. I found another. And the Four Bush Man. Look all that up if you want. There's the worst of, worst of brand eh. 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 Yeah, these are really funny. So it's like a spoof comic. Oh, they're really hilarious. It's like Mad Magazine, but all the Marvel hero in the universe. Uh, Universe Heroes. I got this Dynamo comic. These are all written on and scribbled on. These were yeah, they look like they've uh, yeah, seen better they were, days. They were well loved. So but I just want to really I just want to read them. You enjoyed know? those books me, back for me in to the read. day. And look, what else I found, guys, for our TV uh, Showtime travel we do on our Mummy the Monkey Harry Scary Hangout. I found some vintage Cleveland TV guides. Yeah, <laughs> from 1971 and 1970. So cool stuff there. For right. five, for five smackeroonies. Okay. And I'll save my last two big things for the end. So here's one. I picked this up for five bucks, and it's a little crunchy. It's a little on the crunchy side, but it looks. It's an official B Boy Scouts of America. It's a Boy Scouts of America bag, <coughs> like a backpack yeah. bag, and it looks really, really old. Yeah, it could be 40s or 50s. I was thinking 1940s. By the yeah. way, the stitching looks and the way the fabric feels. Yeah, the leather's and then, really old on it. Yeah, the leather has a lot of age, and then the logo on it, it even looks. New York City. National Council. National Council, New York City. Huh. So that's that's interesting. Anybody so, know anything about this? Leave uh, some info in the comments, of course. Yeah, are there any Boy Scout experts uh, out there? Aficionados. Yeah, because vintage Boy Scout stuff I hear can be quite collectible. So for five bucks, I wanted to try it out. It is. I sold a couple canteens I bought at the, uh, at the flea market a couple months ago for you know, not a ton of money, but here comes our plane. We'll see you later. Bye. Boss, the plan. Yeah, so um, I, I sold some, uh, and it sold pretty quick. Within about a few weeks, I sold a couple of old beat-up canteens with names written on them and everything. Didn't matter. They were Boy Scout uh, of America branded, so and then people like it. A dusty doctor bag. For five bucks, I got this old doctor bag. Wow. And some of those people look for. It. Some of those are cool. It's got the initials. It has, it has the initials. The zipper works. The handles are intact. You want to get that box out of there? The leather's the on the beat up side, but most of them are when you find them. Yeah. What's so. in there? An old newspaper, huh? Yeah, what is that? I didn't see those in there. It's kind of quiet out here. Do you hold that? Okay. Oof, a lot of dust. Here, hold it. Open them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab There's another. What do you want? That's a tissue or no, there's something. There's another piece of paper. Here is there? Bonk. We just did a two, two stooges head bonk. Here we you did. Go. We did. Right. I got it, I got it. Let's see, you can talk about that and I'll read this and see what I can okay. find. Okay, and then for a dollar, I got a box of dolls. What's with oh. me in finding dolls? Weird. There's a date on this paper. What date? The Cleveland Press, September 8th, 1945. So that bag is probably it's from the 1940s. Yeah, there you go. And I think this newspaper should stay with it. it. It may have been in there since then. Who knows? It's a bunch of classifieds. That's cool. Ooh, I think... help, help wanted ooh, female. Ooh. I got it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, put that. I think that should stay with the let's bag. See, let's read some Help Wanted ads from 1945. Oh, geez. Oh, big surprise, 1945. Uh, help Wanted female. Typist. General office. Good at uh, at figures. All right, you know what that means. <laughs> Beginner preferred. <laughs> Salary overtime. Ohio position. Wow. Typist. There's like 20. Typist, waitress, permanent position. Women of cleaning offices. Usherettes. Women for Is that like an usher for a movie theater? Schoolgirl to help with housework or children in exchange for a room and board. Uh-huh. Sure. So they didn't really have a lot of job opportunities for ladies back in the 40s. It was waitress or secretary. Help wanted male, carpenters, circular saw filler, compositors, design and layout men, experience in material handling and preparation, die makers, draftsmen, that's all the guys. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. That's interesting. Ah. See all this stuff. Different times then, different yeah, times. Different show, maybe we can read some. We yeah. can do that too, we can go through some old ephemera and Just read looking that. through old papers, yeah, that, that would be, be cool. Fun, yeah. So for two bucks, I, or I'm sorry, 
yeah, it was two bucks. I got um, a bunch of like old Barbie clothes and then some weird dolls. They're not. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. So just like little outfit things. This one looks like an old little coat for like a Barbie doll or something. He gave you that whole box for a buck, didn't he? Two bucks actually. Oh, you got the dolls and some clothes. And the clothes, yeah. So there's like little little uh, outfits. I think these are like for the 1960s Barbie dolls. That's definitely your jam. So that's my jam. Some of those I put online and they're easy to ship, easy to deal with. Um, this is a little coat with little buttons. So it's like a se early 70s, maybe late it's 60s. It's got like, is, what is that called, paisley? That's some sort of floral. There's paisley floral on there. Paisley? I, see, I see paisley, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. Kind of hippy-dippy. Mm -hmm. um, little pantsuit. This one looks like it was handmade. <laughs> looks like some girl made that on her sewing machine the back in the day. The flared bell bottoms. Those are Probably great. Probably 70s with the bell bottoms there. Jeez, the flares well, that go. Here's a here's a little doll. He's got like a top hat and a coat. He looks like he's got a felt outfit. He's just a gigolo. I'm thinking he's 1940s. And anywhere he goes, people know the part he's playing. <laughs> and there's the nun. This is a little nun with weird. She's got a weird side eye going on. Her eyes blink. She's kind of cute. Um. And, and then she has a habit. There's some other little dolls. I think these are those um Nancy Ann storybook dolls. And I could maybe lot them together and put them on auction. Mm -hmm. When they're in mint, like, really good condition, they, they can be pretty good. But um, when they're beat up like this, I don't think they really sell that oh. much. So. She has a Christmas one, or was she ring a ding -a I don't know. She could be a Christmas one. She's oh. got, like, a little feathery hat. Yeah, it looks like but, a But her hat has a hole in it there. Or yeah. Something. These, these dolls have seen better days, but yeah. I'm going to try to rescue them and get them home. I mean, for a couple of bucks, why not, right? Yeah, so we'll see. Nothing wrong with it. You got that nice one to save for the end there if you want. Okay, well, what else are you... Are you done in, with the with stuff in uh, there? For now, I mean, if you want to... I only got a couple more things to go through. Yeah, I think that was everything there. And then I've got another little bag back that way. Van Halen on cassette. Oh, boy, cassette tape. And then... Here we go, the Steeler fight song. Yeah, I don't know. There was a bug following me, buzzing we're out, in my ear. We're outside. Ah. So you're good though, right? Yeah. All right, well, the well, one of the first things I bought when I got there was this, and I debated whether or not to get it, but there's a couple cool things about it. And, and a lot of why papery things. Yeah, what they a lot call of ephemera. ephemera. Well, this woman that was there, and uh, she also is a reseller, I found out later, um, but this is from her grandfather and her father's collect well I think it's her grandfather was trying to be a baseball player in the 1930s I believe and uh, didn't quite make it but saved a lot of sports clippings and all kinds of newspaper stuff it's just an old calendar that was in there from 1926 I thought that was just kind of neat and that's not what I was looking at initially but I was looking at all the, the first thing I looked at was all this I, I was looking at I that. I told you, I'm, you're going to love yeah, this. Yeah, I think you're I'm in love, love with this. Um, Look at that. All right, all right, all right. All right. I think I'm in love with this stuff so already. Once, okay, first. I when was, I saw the flapper girls. So, right, I know. So I was interested mainly in this stuff here. It's a bunch of uh, old sports stuff from Pittsburgh, from Pennsylvania. It's not that far from Cleveland, obviously. And so I'm thinking that's where they originally were from. But it's a lot of clippings, baseball's two greatest infields. What uh, team is that? Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, you can see, look at this okay. guy's outfit. I won't take it out because I might Yeah, that it. paper's but real fragile. But a like this. I don't know if you can even Fragile. see. Fragile. You can even see this. I can't see with the glare. But um, you can see the guys, the Pittsburgh Pirates had the striped hat. But anyway, um, we might even do a, a tighter video. Maybe with, do like a close-up. With scans and stuff. Of the, of the, but it's like full of clippings, right? I was going to get that for 10 bucks, but the more I dug in this box that she had. Oh, watch I that one. Careful. Heavy in that one <clears throat> so there, there's another box in here full of old newspapers. And the cool thing, and one of the things Here's that. Where's this one from? I'm trying to find it. Oh, this one's 27. from 1927. Yeah. So that, wait a minute. That's let, pretty cool. Let me explain something. So real quick, one of the reasons I was really interested in this stuff is that it didn't smell like a basement. It wasn't musty. It didn't smell like mildew. Right. It just kind of just smells like old paper, you know, like an old comic book paper or old magazines. It smells like that, which is really a big plus, especially if you're going to resell this stuff. I don't really want to send someone something mildewy smelling. But there's this really, really cool, complete Daily Mirror, New York's best picture newspaper. There's a lot of Pittsburgh papers. There might even be some Cleveland stuff in there. But it's mostly Pennsylvania and this New York one. Well, and the lady you bought it from, didn't she say that this was from her grandfather? 
Yes, I just explained that earlier. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That her, her I couldn't remember if you if you mentioned that part. I mean, look at this paper. Look at that thing. Look at that guy. That's like right out of uh, you know, like a wanted poster, right? Hickman captured in Oregon confesses. Who's this guy? Lynch mob threatens the fox in Oregon jail. Admits kidnapping. Lynch him. Give him. Give the beast a little of his own medicine. Kill the beast. While infuriated mob outside the Umatilla County Jail in Echo, Oregon, was threatening uh, thus. William Edward Hickman, trailed by blood money bills and captured in Dash from Los Angeles, admitted uh, to police, admitted police said that he had kidnapped little Marion Parker, whose dismembered body was bartered oh, oh my. to her father for 1500 bucks. Jeez. Oh my God. Hickman, haggard and cringing, Hickman, haggard and cringing, admitted his identity and the kidnapping, but he denied the murder, according to police. So, oh my yeah, God. People have been doing really bad crap to other people for a long time folks and, yeah this uh, stuff isn't new people welcome to been... our channel yes thank you <laughs> no but see it's like oh my lord this people kind of... were always doing bad things so after we read all this stuff i think we're gonna try to kind of figure out how to flip it but right on kresge's love nest clinch's wife's divorce plea now is it ss kresge wasn't there a kresge department store back in the I day think, yeah right on multi-millionaire husband another one oh my god this is cool stuff so, so we're dirt from back in the day so some of it's like gossip stuff yeah and then like fashion i love this this is from 1928 i saw that and i was like okay let me get this whole box from you please I, okay I, I, i'm sorry no 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 you're good i was talking about what I, how i got the box show oh, oh. show this i thought you meant you were gonna move the no, box no 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 okay but no, um no, no. i love this picture i'm just talking about i don't know you. if that shows up on there yeah, you can see that better than what I was trying but to show. But it, it's yeah. really cool. Did they see the flapper, the spring flapper? I did show that, yeah. So, so as I was looking through this box, I started pulling out some of these papers. Like, I didn't, I didn't know if I, I wanted all of them, but I didn't know how much she wanted for everything. Because yeah. the, the box of sports stuff, she was saying 10, which is good. And I was like, cool with the 10. But I'm, the more I'm looking through this, the more of these like great headlines and cool graphics I'm finding. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, I need the whole box. So we wound up settling for... Uh, 25 bucks. For I got the whole box. It. And there's a ton more of papers in here. It's almost, this box here is just, here you go, I'll just pull the box out. Okay. Got it? I think so. It was in a, she said it was in a plastic bag, which is amazing. This stuff didn't get mildewy. But this whole box is full of papers. These papers from the 1920s and 30s. That's and I, cool. And I think I saw some from the teens as well, so even older. So that's going to be a lot of fun to go through and see mm -hmm. what, what, you know, just kind of read through the stuff and then figure out Almost how Almost 100 flip it. years ago. Lots of sports headlines, some uh, prohibition stuff's in there as well. So it's like. The all prohibition over, era stuff all is, over the place. is way cool. Yeah. Way cool. So I only got one more thing. Uh, and I can maybe show mine now or, or go last. Um, show I, yours. Okay. And then I have a few other things I could show. So instead of buying a bunch of little tiny things, you know, small things, which I usually do, I kind of drop some big, like for me, dropping 25 bucks is a lot of money on one thing, but that might go a long way. She initially wanted to sell those pieces for a few bucks a piece, and I guess over time she would have made more, but I just, you know, in this business, you can say, hey, I can take it off your hands right now for, for this. Well, I offered how, her 20. Does that, uh, how does that go? Uh, fast nickel or slow dime? Right, exactly. So Some I, people just want to make their yeah, fast I nickel. Offered, I offered 20, and then she countered 25, because there's, you know, she said, for all of that? I'm like, oh, you know, that's what it's worth to me. You know, I didn't say that, but I just, but I thought 25 was fair. She could have said 30 or 35, so I thought that was fine. And then, uh, towards the end of our journey today, um, this Ooh, what are those? Really cool. You didn't see this? No, I didn't see those. I so, saw the bag. I, I didn't see what was in it. Again, I'm a sucker for these old photos and stuff. I have no idea. Oh, hey, speaking of old photos, you have that envelope. I'm waiting for you to finish. Ooh. I'm waiting um, for you to finish. We have, we have no idea what's in this envelope. Um, but I like old. So this guy had this fella had a lot of cool stuff on a table, old records, and you know, and a lot of old photographs of whoever they are. They're no one famous necessarily. But in this one bin for two bucks, he had some photographs of a guy who was a rep for Cuddy Sark. And that, what's Cuddy Sark? Cuddy Sark is a... Uh, We're getting a, a history lesson. It's a whiskey. So I saw these pictures. I saw this picture. There's a woman posing with a fez on, right? Yeah, she with has a, a Shriner's fez. Shriner's fez with Cuddy Sark bottle and, and, a, and a shot glass or a whole glass of it with a lemon in it. That's a cute one. picture. And then look at this one. I didn't see her. It's beautiful. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. This is autographed uh, by probably one of... Now, this guy was Maybe a, she was a model? Yeah, it's uh, Maybe signed a model? to this guy. Here's to Cuddy Sark and your Mac. Is that what it says? And your Mac. Affectionately, maybe maybe who knows what that means. I have to look up stuff. 
but I did find a little bit about so th this was all from a gentleman's estate who was a maybe might have been the uh, the North American rep for Cuddy Sark for the whole country Oh. because this was bottled in Scotland so I he believe. worked for them yeah that's a really cool photo just a couple of guys well this is why you should buy Cuddy Sock you know type of thing like oh. a promotional photo it's got some names on the back interesting we can look that up yeah there's some names written and on the back i think th one of these women is i think that's her from the photograph that i just if, showed if i had to guess i would say probably the one on the on that side. yeah so here's a photograph of uh, i think it's the uh, the woman in that uh in that last still photo i showed you. maybe Asian they were woman. promoting um sales in asia so they yeah. maybe and then here's him with the gals I and think, they were like spokesmodels look at this dude mr perfect Wow, Paul. look at those retro swimsuits. But I picked out all the photos. There's a lot of photos mostly of, uh, of him and some, you know, at parties or something. Uh, this dude in the middle here. Well, I'll tell you his name in a second. But here he is with uh, a bunch more gals pouring it. Here he is at his desk and someone even like glued on a Cuddy Sark logo in the upper, upper corner. But it says Cuddy Sark Mac. Huh. Maybe that was a type of um, drink they had, Mac? Mac Newman. Maybe his name is Mac know. Newman. Um, and here he, and there's another one of a bunch of oh, someone, it's got some Asian. Yeah, people signed it. Like not kanji, but it might be Korean. I don't even know what that is written on there. Let this me is see. from September 1948. Maybe I could taken. guess. Yeah. And they also had these, <laughs> he was telling me that there's even some records. Yeah, I'm, it's in kanji, so I'm not sure. There's also, there's also these vinyl records that have somebody uh, glued the Cuddy Sark logo on there, and it must have some sort of recordings, maybe. He doesn't know, he said. The guy that sold it, he goes, I don't know what's on them. They could, but they're definitely vinyl records, you know. Are those 78? Oh, ooh, ooh, dropping. Ooh. Can you pick those up for me, please? Thanks. Are those, like, the ones that are more breakable? I have no the, idea. The records? He fell in front underneath the camera. Oh, Cuddy fell. But you can see that it's a, it's a record, probably just one-sided. I have no idea. These are probably acid, some sort of recordable ones that they made specially for Cuddy Sark. I have no idea what's on these. I got four of them, but I got the whole kit of stuff uh, for, I, I, I try to get for 20 we settled at 22 so you know that's where i dropped most of my money today was on these two boxes of ephemera but that's interesting stuff I'm weird paper stuff yeah, so yeah. This guy's name. a little piece of history so i can grab this thing which is perfect because it gives a little information oh shoot i didn't even know this oh was there's there. more photos contact like some type photo. of company party maybe yeah well look at that so wow, it says they, they really lived it up 40-year cuddy sark veteran mac newman his name was mac 1942 mac newman mac newman honored abroad during a recent visit to Barry Brothers and Rudd Limited, owners and producers of Cuddy Sark Scottish Whiskey by executives and sales represent representatives of the Buckingham Corporation and Buckingham distri distri Distributing something. Take a breath. <laughs> An unusual tribute was paid to Mac Newman, who for 40 years has been continuously employed by the Buckingham Corporation, importers of Cuddy Sark Scotch Whiskey. Wow. So this guy, Mac Newman, was a rep, was a guy that was he was a He was a... A big deal. Director of sales. He was okay. a big deal. That's pretty neat. So cool. we got some background information that makes it easier to, to research this stuff. So when it's listed, it can have a whole story behind it and make it more appealing to a potential and, buyer. And have it all together as a lot. Yeah, and what, you yeah. know what I'll do too? I'll even, Maybe even play the records and record them. I'll even put these on CD. I'll, I'll transfer whatever's on here to a disc that will come with the package. Oh, there you so go. So the person, if they don't have a, a record player, hopefully, and I can even email them. No, that's them, ambitious. I can e even email them MP3. I can convert it all. It's not a big deal. Well. So, well, that and that's it for me. That's all I have for, for this A-Hall. What do you got to finish it off? Um, well, it's underneath here. And then I have another bag of things, and then I'm done. And then, Got a week. Nothing plain about it. All right. This is a Lee Middleton doll, Lee Middleton Originals. Paid a buck for it. There's one active listing right now for one twenty-five. No kidding. Now see, we we talked but, to this feller. But here's the thing: her dress is all faded. She has some spots, so yeah. she's in a little rough shape. So I don't think I'm gonna get that kind of. But um, she's kind a doll. she's a collectible doll, and I think someone will want her. And, and if you got uh, half of that, that's great for your dollar investment. Yeah, so not bad for a buck. I normally don't buy the baby dolls like that, but um, when I looked up that name, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna try that for a dollar. Now you didn't do that until you got back here, right? You just did you did you look no, it up? No, I, I looked it up. Um, I walked away from the table, looked it up, and then walked back. So. Right. Just trying to center a little more. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, one dollar, and uh, we'll see if she sells.
The shipping will be high because it's it's like a big doll. I think she's like a 20 inch doll. Just wrap it in bubble wrap and put in a giant poly. No, she won't go in a poly mailer. All right. And then I have some things over here. Oh boy, it's there's more folks, don't worry. Oh well, wait, there's more. So grab yourself a drink. Up oh, too late, we're back. Um, oh. This I paid $5 for. I think it's a fake. At first, it says, is that what the F stands for all over it? Fake, the F fake, stands fake, for fake, 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 fake. At first I thought it could have been a real Fendi bag because the markings inside look real, but I'm not seeing a serial number and the material doesn't feel that nice. So I'll, mm. it was a stupid, stupid on my part, but eBay Learn does have a thing where they can authenticate um, designer stuff mm. for you. So I'm going to send it to them and, uh, you know, see what they say. And they'll send you an email back that says, blah, ha, 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 ha. If it's, if it's a crap, if it's a fake, they just send it back to you and then I'll just donate it. They don't shred it? I'll donate it to, some, you know, a thrift oh. store or something. But Yeah. No. Um, yeah, I, the F could stand for fake and not Fendi. I believe it do. <laughs> and then what else you got here? What's the last? Oh, you got a couple more things. I have a naked, another doll. This is an, a little <laughs> naked mermaid doll. <laughs> She's topless. Ah. But that's but, old. That's, but I didn't even realize how old that was. She's 1950s, and it says um, Holiday Fair. I've heard of that brand. Holiday yeah. Fair made in Japan. See, that's interesting because it didn't even register she's to me right way, away. She's way, way cute. Yeah. And vintage mermaid stuff that's made in Japan is hot. That's so really a good find. What did you pay for I her? paid a dollar. I'm hoping, oh. um, I'm hoping like 40 to 50. Well, she got a little damage there. Yeah, but, I mean, maybe. Probably I, rare, I might so. be able to fix her. So, yeah. So there's that. I got a couple dirty books. Can't show them. Though. I can't show them, but they're 1960s. Um, Sexy sex. Like naughty um, comic books. Yeah, cartoons. Naughty ca cartoons, comic strips. 1960s kind of um, From sex adult humor. Adult sexy. humor. But those were a buck a piece. They're a little beat up. Oh, love, old, like uh, one panel cartoons mm -hmm. and jokes. And um, some vintage purses. Um, this one looks like Victorian era. It was a buck, so I grabbed it. That's it's, really pretty. I didn't I'm, even I'm see thinking that. early 1900s, the way the beading looks. Huh. Probably 1900s and 1920s at the latest. But the um, stitching and everything looks like it was done by hand. It's really cute. So that might be. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one or sell it yet. I'll read you one of the jokes out of here. And I don't even know if they're worth much. They're probably not even worth much, but I just love the craft, the the hand stitching. Want me to read you one of the jokes out of the book here? Sure. So there's a, a, a partially clothed man and woman in a bed, uh -oh. and the man saying to the woman after he smoked, they're both smoking cigarettes, he goes, "Boy, a second honeymoon was a great idea. I wonder where my wife is spending his." <gasps> oh, naughty! Shame on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's funny you were reading them. Oh, why not? Um, and then some costume jewelry, but, eh. but, now, but th this, now this this is, this is, is cool. Bag. This is a mystery envelope right, of we don't... old photos for three dollars. Right. So you you found this on the table and oh. you were like, they sorry, have... there was a bug. Oh, I got it outside my... and there's bugs. There's. Do you want me to go kill it? Should there... we should we have your life? There was an ant should crawling I... on my leg. Should we call and get your life flighted out of here? Yeah. You need checked up. And... Yes. Okay. Emergency. Wuppa wuppa um, wuppa wuppa. So yeah, she bought this without even looking at what's in there. And the woman that sold to her says she didn't even go through it all yet. So Oh, so there's there's antique postcards in oh, there. The church. Is that the Notre Dame? It's uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, oh, New, York in New York City. That's pretty. There's some old photos in here. We didn't even look at and any I don't of even, I didn't look at any of it. I just wanted to those, grab look it. Look at those chicks. Oh, look at those pretty ladies. Look at those broads. And their fancy hats. This is probably... I got dibs on that one. Um, yeah, probably 19 teens, just judging by their clothing and hairdos. We can hold up a little closer, maybe even. Maybe but perfect. look at that cool picture. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Huh. I love their hats and, and hair. They look cute. I wonder how many of them were names were Mabel. <laughs> There's probably a couple Mabels and Mildreds in there. Mildreds for sure. Mildreds a very old timey name. Oh, look at this. East 79th Street, in Cleveland, Cleveland yeah. Studio, and it's an old wedding photo. And she has short hair like she's a flapper girl. So this is a flapper girl oh. wedding photo. I'll bring it over to you. So that's cool. And there's there's a bunch of stuff in here. So that one. I'll show it to you. Sure. Oh, here's a, here's a baby photo. Hollywood Studios, Detroit, Toronto, Cleveland. And it's like a little baby oh, picture. Oh, a doll. With really surprised looking eyes. Wow. 
Baby star, ew. I'm not ready for my close up. Really, like, surprised eyes I here. Ooh, there's a lot of these. There's this is, tons of stuff. This is in great. There. For sale, one dollar. Um, we could do a Detroit swap. Avenue, Cleveland. This is a little boy with a yeah. toy ball. You're gonna be here all day with those. There's, I mean, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Did you want to? Are we still mic? filming? We are. Yeah, it, it'll do like ten minute clips. So, did you want to dump some on the table and kind of see what and kind of pick through them real quick? No. No. Let me see. Here, why a, don't you open those? Yeah, give me a couple and we'll go through them. There's like three there. Like wedding There's thing. a lot of photos this looks in like here. It's crop, oh, it's not cropped off. It's, and I don't even packed. know if these sell, but they're just so cool. Well, for three bucks, it'd be fun to look through. Anyway. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, he's wearing a very nice suit. This suave-looking dude. Ooh, in he his, looks really, really. In his fancy suit. This is some foreign language. I don't know. 1930. But look at her. Like she's intense. Let me see. Look at her. Hmm. Ooh, crazy eyes. Yeah. She was one meme broad There's back some, then. Uh, ready on the back there. Oh, look at this dude. What dude? Hi, Professor Pipeface here. <laughs> I know how to kill the monster. We should make up stories for them. We could. We could we do could. something for our show with that. Look at these lovebirds. St. Clair Avenue. <laughs> Victorian. Victorian photo. Let's pop eye sun for eye. Ah, go, 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 go. That's when he stood in that picture. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, look at this. Some girl was. Oh, that's creepy cool. What's that one? Some little girl, but it looks so kind of creepy. Her face looks odd. Like that's she's not that creepy. Like a little zombie girl or that's something. Neat Let's see that. And then there's like papery things in here, like old postcards that aren't really that good. Um, I'm trying to see what else. There's like a lot of little things. Oh, yeah, more little. postcards, more little stuff. Um, Ride the duck, baby. Yeah, these are like touristy postcards, different nothing places. Interesting, yeah, yeah, nothing that great. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Wow. I think that's about it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Postcards. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, no, I did get you a Joan Jet watch. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh, where's my. Oh. You got a Joan Jet watch for 50 cents. It just needs a battery and a band. Here's a couple of buttons I bought for myself. A really cool pumpkin, like a Halloween y. He's cool. What is to Halloween silver shamrock? Yeah, he's that, cool. And how could I resist? Wow! A diamond <laughs> David Lee Roth pin, baby. Official Van Halen merchandise. Wow! <laughs> For 50 cents. Had to have that. All that tchotchke stuff. I don't know why. But, well, uh, I, think, I, that's I gonna, think that's the end of our awesome haul. That's going to cinch our up our, 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 awesome, our A haul, and the A stands for awesome. awesome. Thanks for watching us on Monster Hustle, and uh, keep uh, checking our YouTube channel. If you uh, like this video, like us, subscribe, mm -hmm. and uh, what? what's the other thing? Like, subscribe, and share, uh, right? Yeah, and click the little bell. That way you're notified Bing. anytime we go live or upload a video. That's right. And so, uh, if you have any info or have any questions on the items we showed you, please drop it in the comments. That's right, and if you're interested, interested in anything, just uh, well, wait, if I find the time stamp or the time mark on it and then let us know what it is. But mm -hmm. I mean, this stuff's so specific, we'll figure it out. But anyway, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time on Monster Hustle. See you later. Bye.